Hello, today I'm going to show you a little bit about how I clean up um, Indian clubs that are, arrive a little dirty. These have a lot of white paint splotches on them and surface dirt. They're a nice pair of German Indian clubs. And what I'm going to do first is try to take some of the white paint off with just regular 70% isopropyl alcohol and see if that works. Sometimes you're lucky and it does. So here's a big splotch. And it does. Yay, look at that. It's coming off really easily actually. And you don't want to rub too hard because this was most likely shellac and you do not want to remove too much of the shellac along with the paint. Just with that dirt. Just want to get the, the ugly white paint off. And yeah, it might get a little sticky because shellac dissolves with alcohol, so you do not want to <clears throat> disturb it too much, like I said, and let it let it dry a little bit in between. This other club is also splotched. Okay, so now that you've gotten all the paint off of your club, no longer splotchy, we can give our little ladies a bath with some um, Murphy's oil soap and a little warm water and a green Brillo pad. Okay, so I just washed the clubs with some Murphy's oil soap and this is what's left of the shellac finish. Um, it wore off quite a bit on the pummel, which is normal because that's where you hold the pummel when you're using the club. And there's a bunch of little bare spots that need to be sealed up with some new shellac. I'm going to use this. It is um, pretty much clear, so it's not going to affect the color of the clubs too much. And I'm going to dissolve it in some regular denatured alcohol. And we'll see how that goes. Okay, so I have dissolved some shellac flakes, 1.5 ounces to one cup of denatured alcohol in this glass jar. You should be using glass because the alcohol doesn't work in uh, metal or plastic. And I'm going to put one coat on and let it dry. Now we wait two hours for it to dry. You can see that the pommel was bare, so that's absorbed the most. And it's already looking shiny because it wasn't completely off the wood on the body of the club. And I'm going to wrap my brush in a little plastic bag and stick it in the freezer. That way I don't have to clean it because I'm going to use it again in two hours when the shellac is dry anyway. Okay, so here you can see uh, the club is now shellacked with three coats of 1.5 pound strength and it is perfectly shiny everywhere. Um, this is how my friend wants her club, but 
What you can do if you want it to be a little more dull or to add some protection to it is to add some butcher's wax. Oh, it's so bright. <laughs> there. Butcher's wax paste. <clears throat> what you would do is just take a rag or a little brush and put a coating on top of the shellac and let it dry for half an hour and then buff that out and it'll be a little bit of a more dull look to it. Something maybe a little bit more like this club back there. And that is it. Thanks for watching.